Hey everyone, welcome to Elena by Design. Today's video will be teaching you how to make a tile coaster. The materials you will be needing is permanent vinyl, tile square, and adhesive backed cork roll. Once you're on Design Space, select Shapes. Select Square. This square will act as the tile to help you get an idea of how big you want your image to look like on the tile. To unlock the square, press the lock. Measure out your tile and plug in the measurement. The width of my tile is 4 inches, so I'm going to plug in 4 for the width. The height of my tile is 4 inches, so I'm going to plug in 4 for the height. To access your image, select Upload. After you upload the image you want to put on the tile, it should show up here. All of the images shown here are from Craft Bundles. I have a video teaching you how to download files from Craft Bundles to Cricut Design Space that I'll link in the description box if you want to check it out. Select the image and press Insert Image. Resize the image to how you want it to look on the tile. Once you're done sizing the image to how you want it to look, select No Fill to make the Cricut cut out the image, rather than if you select Fill, the Cricut would print it out. Once you're done, select Make It. Let the Cricut cut out the image. Don't forget that the square is not to be cut out since it was just to help us size the image. Grab permanent vinyl. Place the vinyl onto the mat. Scrape down the vinyl to secure it to the mat. Place the mat into the machine. After it's done cutting, unload the mat. Grab scissors. Take the vinyl off of the mat. To save the vinyl, cut around the image. Carefully peel the vinyl. Make sure each piece of the image goes onto the paper liner. After you're done peeling the vinyl, remove the negative off of the image. Grab scissors and contact paper. Measure out how much contact paper you need to cut. Cut the correct amount of contact paper. Use the scraper to scrape down the contact paper to avoid air bubbles. Mm -hmm. 
Grab a tile. I got this tile from Home Depot. Scrape down the vinyl to ensure the image goes onto the clear contact paper. Peel the contact paper, making sure every piece of the image stays on the clear paper. Place the image onto the tile. Scrape down the vinyl to secure it to the tile. Peel the clear paper making sure every piece of the image stays on the tile. Use the scraper if you need to hold down the pieces of the image. To prevent the tile coaster from scraping any table surfaces, grab an adhesive back cork roll. I found this cork roll at the Joanne store. Place the tile onto the cork roll to measure out how much cork roll you need to cut. To help you remember your measurements, use a pen to mark down the measurements. Cut out the measured area. Cut the cork roll a little above the line so when you place it on the back of the tile, you won't see it in the front of the tile. Flip the tile over. See if the cork roll fits. If the cork roll does not stay in the square of the back of the tile, then cut it to make it fit. Peel the paper of the cork roll. Place the cork onto the tile. Then you're done. If you are scared of the vinyl peeling, then keep watching. But to warn you, this step is noticeable on the tile. As you can see here, it gives the tile a shiny look to it. The materials you will be needing is a sponge brush, gloss Mod Podge, and a plastic bowl to put the Mod Podge in. Place the glue into the bowl. Dab the brush in the glue. Make sure when you apply the glue to the tile, you apply the glue everywhere. The glue is noticeable once it's on the tile, and it will look weird if you don't apply glue to all areas of the tile. Let the tile dry. Once it's dry, then you're done. These are so easy and fun to make, so be creative and have fun with them. Hey,